everyone. I am Irene Williams. I'm here on behalf of Coverings. Coverings is the tile and stone industry's largest expo in North America. And right now, I am very, very honored to have Katie Peralta with me. Katie is a leader in the stone industry. She is the leader of a large tile distribution, I mean, a stone distribution. A distributorship and um, she's a phenomenal business person and I've been thank really you. really excited to speak with you oh, well, thank you very <laughs> so much thanks I for being here it. so just from what I know of you from afar I presume you're a very busy human being yes so what made <laughs> then. yes so what makes it a wise decision to carve a few days and be here at coverings for someone like you yeah, absolutely. You know, I've been coming to Coverings for many years, and it's just such a wonderful event where you're able to connect with all your suppliers from all over the world, um, and everyone's here. So it's just a really good time. You know, our, our business is so international and global. So to be able to put, you know, FaceTime with, with your partners and suppliers is just invaluable, really. And so when you're at the show, are you looking for new products? Are you, is it more about networking? How do, you, how do you as a business person really use this show? Yeah, I mean, I think it's like twofold, right? So it's always wonderful to come. You get to see, you know, what's new. Everyone's showing like their newest stone, the newest material. So I think you can get an idea of what's coming, what's coming up. Um, you know, that's definitely carve out some time to walk through the show that way. And then, yeah, you know, you're looking for new sources um, of specific materials that you're trying to bring in. And, um, you know, like I said, it's connections and, and networking with people is really, it's all our business is about. Right. So I'm intrigued by your business and I have read a little bit about how you started. Could you share with the folks watching how you got into yeah, stone distribution? Into stone. So Triton Stone's a family company. Um, you know, it's owned and, and operated by my family. And we started in 2006, right after Hurricane Katrina. Um, we wanted to get into something that would help the city rebuild, honestly. And our background is in logistics and warehousing for um, my family. And yeah, you know, we got connected with Triton Stone and it was just, it's been such a blessing um, just to meet so many people and customers. And we really, we help people you know, they're happy, right? They're redoing their home, they're renovating. Um, so it's been a great journey. Yeah, so that timing, did, the, did post Katrina, how did that affect your decision to get in? Like, Well, yeah, so that? I mean, you know, obviously in 2005, Katrina devastated the city and lots of things, you know, were changing and, you know, you were kind of unsure of what, you know, was the city gonna rebuild? Where's everyone gonna go? Um, but ultimately, we're from New Orleans, and right. you know we knew that we were there to stay. Yes. And so it was like, look, we really want to, again, do something that's going to help people through this process of rebuilding and offer a good product and a good quality um, with customer service. And that's really what we've built Triton on, mm -hmm. um, you know, the values of family and customer service, and that's kind of how we've grown. And you've grown a lot. Yeah, Could you yeah, we've ex grown a explain lot. <laughs> the yeah. reach of No, Triton for sure. Stone. So New Orleans is our first location. And then, you know, we organically opened nine stores across nine states. Um, and then we, um, you know, we acquired some more locations. So actually now there's 22 locations in Amazing. the South. And we cover from Virginia to Texas. So wow. yeah. are you on the go at different locations a lot or are you at yeah. home base more? No, honestly, you know, I like to get out and see our, our branches and our customers. So, you know, it's either locally traveling to our locations in the States or, you know, going overseas to source material. Right. Oh, tell me a little, because we were trading emails prior mm -hmm. to this, and you were, where were you? I it was, was actually very in exciting. China. Yes. <laughs> yeah, I was like, Irene, I'm sorry, I'm in China. Um, <laughs> she replied to my email, though. I was so amazed. <laughs> well, I do always reply. But, yeah, I was at the Jaiman's, uh Stone Fair. So it's also a wonderful experience. You know, you have some different types of vendors than those that come here. Right. So it's also, you know, it's important to go and get that FaceTime with those suppliers, and you really can hammer out a lot of things face-to-face. When you started in stone, did you realize how global the industry you was? You know, I don't, I don't know, honestly. You know, you're like, okay, we bring stone from containers, and we unload it, then we distribute it. And it's really, we touch the all, you know, all reaches of the world. I mean, right. it's just amazing. And you're like, where is that from? Oh, that's from Portugal. Oh, that's from Spain. Oh, that marble's from Italy. And it's just, 
you know, what the world provides in terms of stone and tile, it's amazing. Do you find, um, this is a little off the list of questions I have provided fine. you, but do people have a preference? Are they intrigued by the where it came from in the world when they're making their decisions yeah, about absolutely. products? Yeah, absolutely. You know, and I think that's what makes natural stone so amazing. And I, I mean, I am a natural stone lover. I'm on, you know, the Natural Stone Institute board. And it's like every stone has a story, right? I mean, where's the quarry? Where is it coming from? How did it get off the mountain? Yeah. Um, and like, you know, how long has the quarry been in existence? I mean, you know, there's quarries in Italy from Roman times. So it's just, you know, it's just amazing. And I think being able to share some of that with consumers, that really connects them to what's getting put in their kitchen. Right. Yeah, so you mentioned you're on the board of uh -huh. the Natural Stone Institute. Tell me about your involvement there. I know you hold a, uh, you're very active. Yeah. So what is the benefit of being part of an association in your industry? Well, I mean, I think, you know, I, you know, this industry has given me a lot, and I feel like I want to give some of my time and energy and efforts, you know, back to our industry. And, you know, really just raising brand awareness for what Natural Stone is and what it what it provides to consumers, um, the uses of it, you know, in education. Um, so in general, you know, we distribute and sell lots of different surfaces, but, right. you know, at our heart is Natural Stone. And so that's something that, you know, I'm passionate about, and I want to help spread the word about it. Yeah. So, you've grown a lot, um, obviously, in really a relatively short amount of time, if you look at the span of years. Right. Where do you see a stone distribution heading as an industry? Is it continuing to grow? We're seeing more surface op options out there. Mm -hmm. Where are we headed? Yeah, I mean, I think, you know, the thing with stone, and you always, like, think as a business owner, okay, can this product be bought online, right? And I think the one good thing about stone is that it's really heavy. So, you know, I do think stone distributors are, you know, here to stay, right? We provide a valuable service to, you know, to, pr to transport the material. In general, we're distributors. Right. Um, so, you know, and I think what we offer to the consumer is that wide array of options. You know, we're always looking for what's new, what do you have? You know, we have porcelain slabs, quartz, natural stone. Um, so we're like the hub for them to kind of see okay. what's in the marketplace and then right. give them options. Yeah. Um, so others who do what you do out in the marketplace, are they similar in offering those kind of the variety yeah, of services? I, I mean, I think, yeah, I'm sure. Absolutely. You know, everyone tries to give like a wide variety. Um, you know, but for, for Triton and our model, it's really, we want to kind of be that one-stop shop, right? So people can come to us and not even just the slabs, we also sell the tile, the backsplash, so gotcha. they can kind of put the whole picture together. Nice. Um, the sinks, the faucets, we're partnered with some great brands um, in our plumbing lines as well. So, you know, consumers can come, finish their project in one place, you know, feel comfortable about it. There's such, there's so much stress sometimes about a renovation or, you know, working with contractors. It's like, if they can feel confident, you know, getting something from one place and they know it's going to be taken care of, you know, I think that's really been what, you know, we've been really great at providing. Yeah. And do you have a program to reach out to the interior design community so they're bringing in their clients? Oh, absolutely. We work with, you know, interior designers across all our locations. And I mean, they're, they're the ones that, you know, I love to like reach out to like, hey, what do you think about this? Or what, you know, because they're, they're also the trendsetters, right? I mean, right. they know, they have the eyes and... Um, so, I, yeah, absolutely. And I think what we provide the interior designers is they know if they walk into Triton, they're going to see something new. They're going to see something different. And that's what keeps them coming back. Yeah. How does education play in as you you have so many things clearly that you're offering? I didn't even realize the depth yeah. of product offering you have. So when something new comes on board, do you, do, is there a learning curve? Like convince me this is a great solution, um, you know, or do yeah. people just say, say that's pretty and I can afford it, I so I'm going to go with it. it. Yeah, yeah, no, I mean, I think, you know, education and training is so important, you know, both for our sales staff and then also for the consumer, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, because there's lots of things out there. How do you know it's good or bad? Right. And I mean, I think, you know, we obviously try to partner with, you know, products and lines that are, you know, give good value for their for what they're offering. Um, but yeah, education, right? Like, do you want marble in your kitchen? It's beautiful, but it'll scratch or etch or stain. But that's what marble does, right? right. So you're like, if you're okay with it, put it in your kitchen. <laughs> Let's if go not, for it. Yeah. use a granite, a quartzite, a quartz, mm -hmm. but at least know what you're getting into. Right. What are some of the key messages through the Natural Stone Institute that you see are kind of the drumbeat we always have to teach the marketplace these things that Yeah, I mean, I think, help. you know, so with the surge in popularity of quartz, 
Um, right. You know, I think it's very popular on online shows like, you know, HDTV and everybody wants, you know, what, what Quartz is good is that it gives you consistency, right? So mm -hmm. whether it's in this house or this house, it's going to look exactly the same. So that's a good thing, right? It serves a purpose in the market. Um, and I think there is some confusion. Sometimes people don't know that it's not natural, uh -huh. right? They're like, is this real or fake? And so I think the name can be misleading. Right, yeah. you're like quartz, but then there's quartzite, which is natural, and it comes from the mountain, but then, you know, quartz is manufactured. Yes. So it's kind of like, okay, here's all the studies and the information, but in general, it's like, it's man-made, or it comes from a mountain. Mm -hmm. And, I mean, I think that is the biggest point in terms of just education. Do you ever wish the HGTV and the, the, the shows would do a better job of explaining that? Do you ever fight against yes, that? Yes, absolutely. <laughs> They're like, oh, we just put beautiful marble. And you're like, that's not marble, you know? <laughs> it's quartz that looks like marble. Right. Um, I hear interior designers express that quite often. Right. Like, it doesn't tell the full story no, a lot of times. And you're like, wait, you know, like, t like, let people understand. And then they come in and they're like, I want quartz. And you're like, okay, this is quartz. You're like, no, no, I want, you know, it has veins, it's natural. We're like, well, that's not quartz. So right. it definitely is. And I think that's something that the Natural Stone Institute is really trying to, you know, help promote. And, and again, it's it's like education. Let's just say what it is, right? Mm -hmm. And that's that's fine. Um, as long as you know what it is, then you can make a good decision if you want it. Right. So I have to ask. You've been. It's a quick trip for you here at the show. Yes. I mean, has anything just been? Amaze balls, like ringing your bell, you know, like, like this is so, so unique and I'm so glad I showed up to see it. Um, you know, I'm always looking for new stones, right? So I like, um, you know, new quartzites and new stones. And I mean, I just saw an amazing, I mean, literally, and he showed me the picture of the quarry. It's a Cristallo is the name of the quartzite. So it's beautiful. And I, I have it in my kitchen, um, my first kitchen, and it's gorgeous. And then as you go down into the quarry, there's like a green section. So Ooh. now he's quarrying like half white and half green slabs. And it's just, you know, like what nature provides is oh my gosh. simply stunning. So, so do you just spend a lot of time, sites. are you hanging out in quarries a lot? Because that just sounds really amazing that I mean, nature did that. <laughs> <laughs> I want to go see. Right? Once, the first time you go, you're like, I'm just amazed, you wow. know, where it comes from. Where are some of your favorite quarries that you've been to? Well, I mean, the one, you know, I've been to a few in Brazil, yeah. and that's just, I mean, literally you're flying in a little airplane, and they call it, like, Granite Alley, because each, you know, each little mountain is a granite quarry. I mean, and someone was like, is it ever going to run out? And I'm like, never. Like, they're, good. I mean, you're looking out the window, and all you see is, like, mountains of granite. Um, wow. And then I've been to the quarries in Italy. I mean, in Carrera, Italy, they're, again, it's just a mountain of white marble, and you just look up and... It's amazing. That is fascinating. Yeah, it's really we, cool. We make sure on a field really trip. Appreciate. Wait, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> oh my gosh. That would help educate, right? Yeah. So, so and that way, you kind of mentioned what you have in your kitchen. So, what? How do you make choices for your own home? Because you know oh gosh, all the amazing so things. It's hard. <laughs> it's hard to decide. I bet. Yeah. yeah. No. Well, I mean, I, honestly, after I had the Cristalla, which is a quartzite, very durable. It was lovely. And then I ended up um, just putting in some Calcutta Gold marble. And I mean, I have four kids and look, we use that like, like normal, but it's beautiful. You know, there's stain marks or little etches, but it's used and lived in. And right. I mean, to me, I think that's part of the beauty of it. Yeah. So you've grown this company and you've got all these locations. How do you keep a family feel for a company that's thriving like that? How do you well, connect all those dots? And yeah, I mean, it, I mean, I'm here with my sister and my sister-in-law. Oh, um, and, you know, we work you with You brought family. an entourage. I, I have a fan club here. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty impressive. Um, but, yeah, you know, a family is such an important core part of our company. And I really think... Um, you know, our employees feel it, and um, all my brothers and sisters work in the business. Wow. So it's, um, yeah, it's something I think it's important. It's important to connect people with the company and that they, you share similar values. Mm -hmm. And I'm very curious to ask, as a woman in a leadership role in an industry that is primarily known for being okay. very male-dominated, right. What's that been like for you? Or any? Um, do, are you a trailblazer? Do you feel like? Do you know? You know? I honestly feel like when I started, I was twenty-three. Okay. So I think I was just like, didn't even know. Yeah. I was just like, whatever. Here this is go. what I have to do. Yeah. So it was kind of like you just put your blinders on and just like did what you had to do. And you know, looking back, I'm like, holy shit, you did that when you were that, <laughs> you know, the, the young. But 
you know, I just see it as like, yeah, like working really hard and, you know, inspiring people who work for me to work that hard. And, you know, if, if you're doing the right thing, then, you know, success will come. Yeah. And so I know you're going to be heading out um, from the show. Anything interesting you have packed in for the rest of your time here to maximize your hours? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I have like, yeah, a few more quick meetings, want to run through a section in the back that I didn't get to see. You know, sometimes I'm like, okay, I'm not talking to anyone. I just like walk through really quick, you know, just to kind of scout, scout out the yeah. different areas. But yeah, just try to see as many people as possible. Right. And, so again, we're very thankful that oh, you well, had a few minutes for us absolutely. in this interview. Yeah, thank you. To talk stone. I'm so intrigued about the quarries. Yeah, wow. They're amazing. <laughs> I know we could do the next interview there, right? Right. <laughs> we'll just go on location. Sure. Well, thank you. And thanks for bringing your crew. Yeah, no problem. We're very inspired by your business, truly. Aww. Well, thanks, Irene. So good to meet it. you. Thank you. Thanks. Have a great rest of the show. Awesome. All right. Thank you. Thanks, guys.